Good morning, Arts Academy. Today is Tuesday, March 12th, 2024. Today's weather will be a high of 52 degrees and partly cloudy. We are sending birthday wishes out to kindergartner Ariella Safadi in Mrs. Lambert's class who is celebrating today. Have a great day today, Ariella. Guys, we have another, uh, yeah, 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 you know, another mystery reader today. So if you've done a terrible job guessing who that voice that is bellowing through those speakers are, you've got a couple more chances. Don't mess this one up. This poem is called Sarah Cynthia Sylvia Stout Would Not Take the Garbage Out by Shel Silverstein. Sarah Cynthia Sylvia Stout would not take the garbage out. She'd scour the pots and scrape the pans, candy the yams and spice the hams. And though her daddy would scream and shout, she simply would not take the garbage out. And so it piled up to the ceilings, coffee grounds, potato peelings, brown bananas, rotten peas, chunks of sour cottage cheese. It filled the can, it covered the floor, it cracked the window and blocked the door with bacon rinds and chicken bones, drippy ends of ice cream cones, prune pits, peach pits, orange peel, gloppy glumps of cold oatmeal, pizza crusts and withered greens, soggy beans and tangerines, crusts of blackburn buttered toast, grizzly bits of beefy roast. The garbage rolled on down the hall. It raised the roof. It broke the wall. Greasy napkins, cookie crumbs, globs of gooey bubble gum, cellophane from green bologna, rubbery, blubbery macaroni, peanut butter caked and dry, curdled milk and crusts of pie, moldy melons, dried up mustard, eggshells mixed with lemon custard, cold french fries and rancid meat, yellow lumps of cream of wheat. At last the garbage reached so high that finally it touched the sky and all the neighbors moved away and none of her friends would come to play. And finally, Sarah Cynthia Sylvia Stout said, okay, I'll take the garbage out. But then of course it was too late. The garbage reached across the state from New York to the Golden Gate. And there in the garbage she did hate, poor Sarah met an awful fate that I can write, cannot right now relate because the hour is much too late. But children, remember Sarah Stout and always take the garbage out. Today's mystery reader is, the suspense is killing us. Ooh, Miss McCool. Hi girl. Ha ha, Miss McCool, that was such a fun one. I love Shel Silverstein, but I was not familiar with that poem. You'll learn something new every day. Okay, boys and girls, at this time, let us please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Oh, whoops. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Okay, boys and girls, do what you're told. Listen to your teachers, do your homework, and for the love of all that is good smelling, take out the trash. <laughs>